Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for the end of June. So this is for June 25th through July 1st or whenever it resonates because the timing is fluid, okay? This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these and one of these. If it uh, pops out and flips over, if it flips over while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now. Otherwise, we reveal it at the end. Um, keep in mind, this reading may not resonate with you because I can't read every single person, okay? may not be your reading, all right? Please leave all negative comments about another sign out, please. This is for the sign of cancer for the end of June. Oh, we got two of them, and they both flipped over, so... Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. <laughs> Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And that does kind of look like a marriage, doesn't it? You know, maybe maybe there's going to be a proposal. Maybe, maybe not, because this reading will not resonate with everybody. Maybe it's just time for you to take a time out. Okay? Maybe it's time for you and your person to to get together and just really, really... And get to know each other better, you know, just enjoy each other. Perhaps. That's for somebody. This one we'll save for later. This is for the sign of cancer. If you're not with anybody, it is time to disconnect. Maybe you need to go on your own retreat and maybe you'll meet somebody. Okay? Just saying. If you're single, if you don't have anybody, maybe it's time for you to disconnect, go on a little mini vacation, and maybe you'll meet somebody. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It feels as though there's been a lack of appreciation here. There has. There's been a lack of appreciation. There's been a lack of, of communication even. Maybe you guys haven't been communicating very well. Somebody has been, been there's fear of sacrifice here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you could be dealing with an earth sign or a water sign, or this could be you. Somebody is feeling cold, detached, and withdrawn. So, therefore, you probably do need to take a retreat. Maybe you do. Maybe you need to gain back your security and your, and your stability. It feels like there has been a lack of appreciation, and it could be, you, you know, see, maybe somebody doesn't appreciate you, or maybe you don't appreciate you. There's been a lack of compromise as well. Um, and somebody has been, you know, hanging on to something that doesn't serve them, hanging around because they don't want to sacrifice. They don't want to sacrifice something. Their heart? I don't know what the hell this is. I think somebody is losing hope in a relationship. Somebody's losing hope. Things haven't been things haven't been 
moving as quickly as you like. Something isn't happening as fast as you would like. That's for darn sure. It's like there's probably a lack of communication here or a lack of forward movement. You could be really focusing on your career, your job at this time, focusing on everything but love. That's what it looks like. And maybe that's why you need to take a time out. And even if this is self-love, even if you need to go on a retreat to regain that, that love, okay? Whether you're single or partnered, it feels to me like there's a lack of love here. There is, a, first of all, in all these cards, there ain't no love. None. Okay, so there's a lack of love in your life, and, it, and it's because you're probably not focusing on it. And it, it's truly, I think you're focusing on your money, your job, your finances, something, your career. Somebody isn't putting effort into love. That's what I see. So this is for cancer for the end of June. The outcome is seeing the truth. Okay, this is your outcome position. This is about seeing the truth. You know, you've, you've been um, delaying and there's been some indecision. You know the truth of a situation, but you've been delaying it. Okay, but this, this two of swords in this position reversed says that you, the lies are being exposed and you probably have these overwhelming fears. You know, this over, you may be going through some sort of worry or anxiety. You, there could be like an information overload. Okay, that's causing you to be overly cautious in regards to a relationship. You have this fear of, of sacrificing, maybe even your money, of what this is going to cost you. You know, maybe you feel like a relationship is going to cost you too much money, so you don't want to get involved. I don't know what this is. But there is a lack of hope here. This is your challenge position, the star card reversed. Is that you? It's like you've lost hope in love. There, it, it, That's what it looks like to me. So... You know, if you've lost hope and love, your thoughts become things, right? So you you have to change that mentality. Other people see that you're a hard worker, and that's what you're focusing on. You're focusing is focusing on work. That's how other people see you. It feels, and that you're not really moving forward towards love. You're not giving your, you're not balancing the both. You need to balance love and work. Okay. If you want love, if you want it to grow, you're going to have to put effort into it and make a big effort. Okay. But it feels as though this time you're really focusing on your coin, okay, more than you are love. It feels as though um, I'm just looking at these cards. It feels as though at this time you're probably feeling a little a little bit detached emotionally. You're just not giving the love, giving love the, the time, the time that it needs. So let's get some clarifiers. What about the star card reverse, the challenge? You know, you have to master your emotions, Cancer. This is your card. You have to master your emotions. You need to, you keep, need to keep the momentum in love if that's what you're looking for. You need to replace fear with faith. You need to restore the hope. Your challenge is mental strength. You need to keep the mental strength. At this point, you're probably feeling like you don't have it. You can't, you know, you can't give energy to it, but your challenge is to do it. Do it. Take the lead. Keep going. Keep the momentum going. You have to take action. Take action. Other people see that you're not very inspired. They see that you, you're lacking excitement for something right now. They see that. You know, it's really time for you to, and maybe this is what you're doing. You're, you're trying to uh, bring security and structure and organization to your life. You're, 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 you're putting your materialistic... Um, demands above love. This isn't really a week of love, unfortunately, because you guys are focusing on your status. It's a week of focusing on your status rather than, than your love. It's, this is a very masculine approach, okay? It feels as though this is a week of, um, you know, being really focusing on 
maybe your home, your family, your your status, your possessions, your money. You know, you're focusing on everything but love this week. And, and you know, sometimes you got to do that. But are you making the right call? <clears throat> are you making the right call? That's the question here. I feel as though I mean the judgment is the judgment is a a wake up call. So you really need to wake up. You could lose out on love if you don't put effort into it. You have to put effort into love for it to blossom, for it to grow, for it to stay. To find it. You know, if you're single and you haven't been giving love a chance, then, you know, if you're just focusing on your status, you're focusing on your everything but love, then you can't expect it to, to grow or to come. So I feel like this is a week of, of, of really waking up. Is, is this what's going to make you happy? Is this job? Is this career? Is this money going to make you happy? Is that what happiness is to you? You know, it feels as though somebody isn't broadening their horizons. They're not being open. They're not being, they're not doing the right thing here with this. This is the page of, of, of coins is somebody that has backbone. They have focus. They have integrity. I'm not saying that you don't have integrity. I'm telling you the meaning of the card. I feel like right now you are blocking. There's blockages standing in your, in your way of your own happiness in love. Because my readings are love readings. You're blocking love from coming by, not, by focusing on your coin. By putting your money, your coin, everything but love first. I see the king of coins. That's the energy you're taking on. You're taking on this energy. And, cause, and, you, and this one as well. So you're taking on the energy of the king of coins who focuses on their money. The king of coins and the emperor focuses on materialistic things. And therefore, you know, there's a, there's a lack of love within yourself. You know, there is. There's a lack of emotional contentment or fulfillment. You're not emotionally fulfilled in the love arena because you're not giving it effort. You're emotionally withdrawn. But your challenge is to bring yourself back. Your challenge is to replace that fear of sacrifice with faith. And to, and to keep the momentum going in your love life. To keep it going. To keep the momentum that you've had to find love or to grow love. Master your emotions and balance the two. That six of pentacles is balancing the two, love and money, which I think that's a big factor this week. It's only harming you and you could lose an opportunity in love. You're making the wrong decision with the king of swords reversed. Somebody is making the wrong decision to put their job before love. I'm just saying. And therefore, there could be a lost opportunity with this Ace of Cups coming in if you're only focusing on everything but love. Somebody feels like they're not getting attention, whether it's you or the other person. Somebody feels like, you know what, I'm not getting any attention here. Somebody's looking for more, whether it's you or the other person. Somebody's not feeling content with the love that they are receiving because somebody isn't putting in effort. Somebody's not putting it number one on their, on their bullet list. The outcome is to trust your intuition and be sure that you are seeing this situation clearly. There's fear of change here, holding on, holding on, and I think it's holding on to your status, your financial status, society's status, that is affecting your love life. So I feel like this is a week of refinding that passion, that spark with in yourself to Eve, you're single to go out and find a partner and put it at the top of your list or rekindle a flame that is going out with your partner 
take time to give that partner love and bring them back into your world. If you're single, if you don't put in effort, if you're, if you're only focusing on everything but love, then you can't expect it to come knocking at your door. So I feel like this is a week of rekindling or, or, or putting love at, back up at number one instead of number two. Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Follow your intuition. Follow your heart. What does your heart want? Will your heart be satisfied with money? With status? What other people think? Or will your, your heart be fulfilled with love? Because you could lose an opportunity if you don't give it any effort. And that is my message for today. You have to invest and water what you want to grow. And if it's your money, then so be it. But if it's love, somebody needs your attention. And that's what I have. Talk to you later.